welcome back at Mastercam Mill 3D Tutorials and Toolpath. Mastercam in this video we discuss about that how we can prepare that kind of part and in this video you will learn about that how we can set up a new part in a Mastercam for a machining purpose. So in this video we'll, you will learn about that how we can set up a new part in Mastercam and then the next one process that you will learn that after setting after importing a new model that what are the changes we have to do in Mastercam and what are the settings that we do in a Mastercam and after that we will also define you a roughing operation that is rest roughing operation in this video. So before starting that one video let me show you the drawing for that one part. So that one is the drawing for that one part as you can see here that is my part it is the isometric view that is my front view and that is my top view. So as you can see here, there is all coordinates are defining. If you want to draw that one line, so that drawing is also I will attach in the description. So you can also download that one drawing. But in this video, I don't show you that how you can prepare that one model. I will directly show you that how you can create that one cam program or a tool path in the master game. So for before creating that one tool path, let me show you that how we can open or how we can import already prepared model in Mastercam. So for importing a Mastercam model in Mastercam, this is our Mastercam. And when we want to import a new model, we have to go in a file, open computer and browser. From here browser portion, we can open the area where is our part. So if I have to go at the place, where is my part? In that case, I have my part at the here. So here, as you can see here, my all files are so, but these files, all files are in only mastercam format. So I just go here and make all files. So that time there will be what is happening. All files will be here. So, so I just select my file and OK. When I just open that one file, so as you can see here, when I just make a top view, so that time my file view is like that, but I have to create my toolpath from the top view. This is the number one method that you can open a new file by that one method. There is a one new other method. You can also importing a file by the help of that one method. So therefore that one, I make a new documents. So that I, I also want to show you that the second method how you can import any file in a master game. So I just press here. So that is my file which I want to import in. So just I just click here and I have to drag here and just drop it here. So as you can see here that is the second one method that you can also import any kind of file in a master game as, as you can. So now it is an easy method to importing a file in a master game. So now we have to set up our part properly in a master game. So for it, set up my part in a proper way, I have to make sure that my Z should be on the top plane and my part should be like that. Now in this file, as you can see here, my Z is the direction is that. So I have to change all my WCS as proper. So for making a my WCS at a proper position, first I have to go in a wireframe, click on a line. I have to click here and here. Now press OK. Now as you can see here, my WCS is at the bottom area or that one portion. So I have to make my WCS at the top area, at the center place. So I have to go in a transform and press move to horizon. And I have to press that the midpoint of that one line. When I, I just press and clear color. So as you can see here, my WCS is coming at the top center portion of my part file. Then now the next one process is that I have to change my direction. So for changing my direction, I go have I have to go in a dynamic, just like my part, okay, and zero zero. And now the next one, what is the step I have to do? That is, I have to change my direction. So now as you can see here, my Z direction is at the top portion, my X direction is that one side and my Y and I have to press OK and clear color at top. 
so as you can see here my z is the top y is that one direction and x is that one direction so now as you can see here i can now do my machining so tool will be coming from the top side and now the first step that i have to do that i have to delete my unwanted line so now the next one step is i have to create my, my machining so before creating my machining i have to make a raw material part so for creating a raw material part let me show you that how you can create your raw material so for creating a raw material i have to make it here from 3d to 2d and now i have to go in a wireframe curve all is select that bottom curve and now again select that one curve and that one curve and okay so as you can see here i just create both of these curve now i just have to select both of these curve and make a new level so i just changing that one level from 1 to 2 and now i have just input here that stock model now i have to go in a level that my first part is my model real part and second one is my stock model so i just have to i want to make a stock model so i just active my that second level is my current active level and now i have to go in extrude solid and now extrude select that one line select that one line okay so as you can see here my part is automatically extrude but i have to change my direction from here to here and select the bottom portion of that one area and now i just press okay so as you can see here my raw material is now created and now i can easily create machining for that one part so for creating a machining for that one part now i have to go for that one is 20 mm at the top portion and active that one level and now again i have to go in a wireframe curve one is which one is here here and here and now i just so i just select both of these curve and make this level from 2 to first and okay so guys as you can see here my draw material is also defined as well as my curve is also defined so then that time here next one step that i have to do that i have to machining my that part so for machining that one part what i have to do first i have to define my stock model so for defining my stock model first i have to visible my stock model or a raw material and hide my real part and now i have to go in a machine and i have to select milling machine after selecting a milling machine the first operation that i have to go that is i have to create my stock model so i just have to create on a stock model i have to input my name of that one stock i have to choose my color and now i have to select model as a raw material i just select select that one model as a raw material and now i press ok so as you can see here my first tool path is created and now if i just hide that one so that time also my raw material is still available so that is my color that one is my raw material the next one step that i have to do i have to create my roughing operation so for creating a roughing operation the first step that i have to do i have to select my most using operation in a master cam in 3d that is area roughing operation in a few of the previous video you would know all the entity all the parameter of my area roughing operation so if you want to understand all the parameters and all the things so that you time you can watch my both of these previous video where you will learn about all the parameters of area roughing so in this video i just create my area roughing operation so first I have to go in and select my entity or my part which I have to machine. Now what is the stock? What is the stock? The next step is I have to tool path control. For that one part I have to control my tool path just for that one portion and between that one portion. So I just select both of these entities. When I just select both of these entities so my tool path will be generated at the between of these entity and now press ok now i have to select my tool 
I have to just go and select my tool that my tool is ball nose and my tool is 12 mm ball nose and in here I can input my roughing operation so that is my rough now I have to go in stock rest material one operation and what is the here I have to go in a stock material one operation select that one operation and ignore small cops 0.3 now I have to go in a cutting parameter I have to input what is the depth of cut percentage of tool diameter is 100% of tool diameter and what is the XY step over so I just input 50% of tool diameter now transitions and translations I have to go in a profile ramp what is my clearance it should be 2 mm what is my plunge angle it should be 5 mm and what it should be 0 degree and now steep and shallow linking parameter it should be 50 mm minimum vertical retract it should be on and 5000 in our few previous video I just defined about all these parameter why I choose each of parameter so I already defined about each of these parameters so if you want to understand the detailed things about all these parameters so you can go and watch all these things now I just press ok so when I just press ok so that time what is happening my tool path is starting to generate so if when we are making a regeneration so or create a new tool path if it is going to be take more time so that time you can go in a view and click on multi thread and make right click and real time and press ok so when we are doing that one step so that time my tool path regenerating time is going to be reduced and it can be it will be regenerating in a very fast and a smooth way so guys as you can see here my tool path is now generated if I want to show you as the machining of that one part so let me show you that how it will be machining so for creating a machining for that one part what I have to do go if I just select on a verify so that time as you can see here what is happening my verify window is opening so my verify window is open here but as you can see here my raw material is I don't know which type of raw material that is going to be here so I have to define my raw material as I choose in a program so for defining raw material as I define in a program so for that one purpose I have to go in a simulation option and now stock model and that is my stock model and I have to go and press ok and now I go for a verify so guys as you can see here my raw material and my tool path is done and now the next one step I have to show you that I want to verify that one tool path as by my part as per my part so for that one I have to press on a verify when I just press on a verify so that time my new window is open so I just visibility I just off my visibility for both of wireframe as well as access and I just press run so as you can see here mark my tool path is starting to cutting my raw material so it is cutting in a very smooth or a best motion so that time as you can see here it is cutting from first is that one area and after cutting that one portion it will be automatic shifted at the other side and it will be cutting in a very smooth way so I wish you understand everything and all these parameter of a roughing or rest roughing operation for that kind of part when we are opening a new part in a master game and then how we can create tool path for that one part so thank you very much guy guys be connected and updated for the more videos thank you